Welcome everyone. It says calculate the Emax and the formula of Emax is omega n b a. Omega is given in question 15 pi times n is given 50 times b is given 0 0.8 times and the area also area not given directly we have to calculate because it's a rectangular shape 4 cm to 10 cm I have to calculate it the area will be length and width but the unit of it centimeter so I have to convert it to meter square the area going to be 40 centimeter squared to convert it to meter squared also I have to multiply by it with the 10 to minus 4 so area going to be 40 times 10 to minus 4 and the result will be 2.4 pi volt he says calculate the instantaneous EMF after 1 hour 90 seconds from 0 that means time is equals to 1 hour 90 and E instantaneous is equals to E max times sine omega t and here we have to calculate the angle with the given time and theta is equal omega t omega is given 15 pi 15 pi times time is 1 over 90 so the result will be pi over 6 theta is equal 30 degree when we rewrite the formula e instantaneous is equal to e max times sine 30 and e max we calculated 2.4 pi times sine 30 is 0 0.5 so the result will be 1.2 pi volt thanks for listening <laughs>
centimeter square to meter square from centimeter square to meter square we have to multiply by it times 10 to minus 4 times 10 to minus 4 so we have to multiply this number with the 10 to minus 4 it will be minus 1 times 0 0.15 times minus 600 over 0 0.2 times 10 to minus 4 minus and minus it will be plus so the result will be 0 0.045 volt in this current is equal emf induced over r so it will be 0 0.045 over 9 r is the 9 given in the question so the result will be 0.005 ampere or 5 times 10 to minus 3 ampere thanks for listening <laughs>
for this solution. Thanks for listening. Hello, welcome everyone. In the question, the given stored energy 360 Joule and current 20 Ampere. And I says calculate the L and B says calculate the MF induced when the current reverses in 0.1 second. And for the A, we formula potential energy is equal half L I squared. So L is equal 2 times potential energy over I squared and it will be 2 times potential energies 360 over I is 20 20 squared so the result will be 1.8 Henry it means L is equal 1.8 Henry B says Calculate the MF induced when the current reverses in 0.1 second. E induced is equal minus L delta I over delta T. And in this question, there is a point it says current reverses. So delta I mean I final minus I initial. When the current reverse, the current is 20 ampere. When the current reverse, current going to be minus 20 ampere. So this is the I final. Minus 20, I final is minus 20. Minus initial one is 20. It's going to be minus 40. So when we substitute in formula, EMF induced is equal minus L, L is 1.8 times delta I is minus 40 and time is 0 0.1 second minus and minus will be plus and the result will be 720 volt thanks for listening Hello, welcome everyone. And I say is calculate the instantaneous current and the delta I over delta T. Calculate in the instantaneous current, we have to calculate constant current. And constant current is equal, we apply it, we apply it over R. We apply it is 200 given over R 16 so the result will be 12.5 ampere and now we can calculate the instance then is current I in is equals to I constant times 80% because it says when increasing current 80% so 12 Point five times eight over hundred when you multiply by it with eighty over hundred it means it's eighty percent so the result will be ten ampere. It's asking what is the delta I over delta T. Calculate delta I over delta T we have a formula V net is equal we applied minus e back why we use this formula because 
says when increasing for the increasing we have to use this formula so we applied is equal v net plus e back and the v net i instantaneous times r plus e back is l delta i over delta t and we apply this 200 is equal i instantaneous as we calculate 10 times r is 16 plus l and this one is l1 and the l1 is 0 0.4 times delta i over delta t from here 160 200 minus 160 it will be 40 40 over 0 0.4 so the result will be delta i over delta t will be 100 ampere over second calculate the emf induced in second coil emf induced in second coil is equal minus m delta i over delta t and i have to calculate m which is mean mutual inductance m is equal root of l1 times l2 that means 0 0.4 times 0 0.9 in root so the result will be 0 0.600 let's do substitution emf induced in the secondary coil minus m minus m is 0 0.6 times delta i over delta t we calculate delta i over delta t 100 so the result will be minus 60 volt thanks for listening <laughs>